triumph in the trap. This is for the dollar. Do you believe in miracles? Hey, I play chess, but only in 4D. I'm by myself, but they think I'm 4D. When they see me online, they think they know me. Go ahead, like a subscribe, you gotta show me. I applied pressure and they tried to reject it. Clearly, ain't see I was a diamond, so they didn't accept it. Told me I was a failure, so I said, F it. Might even start my own school and teach them a lesson. Yeah, I'ma call it South Harmon. Huh. Fly down south and get the south popping. <laughs> One day, I'ma give you a walkthrough and introduce you to this walk too. <laughs> I know you lost, that's just dynasty talk Cause you can't start no franchise without no dynasty talk I took a break from the game, nicked on my dynasty stop Till I came back like Wimbyama, I feel like Coach Pop I can't say that I'm the GOAT, cause you ain't gonna agree But if I own my own farm, I can make the GOAT Me, the ladies love the beard, and they used to love the goatee That's when I was a lamb, burning music on CDs I wasn't born in 88 December 87, I was 16 days away Might fly to Dallas, why not? I just got paid today When I land this dirt statue, I came to fade away Check the timeline for the stories and the play-by-play -play. My life a Patreon link, you gotta pay to play I worked 16 hours, boy, that's a 88 X Factor like Dez Bryant, my boy 88 Why dream light when you living like a heavyweight? This ain't a one-week thing, we grind like every day They know my destination, Devi, like I Hang with Ray. If they ain't know my name, I bet they know my name today. Treat this mic like an ATM, let's make a trade today. Drop, drop this on Fizzle Friday, cause that's my favorite day. And I'm gonna do it my way, cause that's my favorite way. They tried to put me on the shelf like I'm layaway. Told me it ain't no way, so I made a way. Huh? Welcome to South Harmon, I'm glad you're here today. Welcome to South Harm and I'm glad you here today. I'm glad you here today. Welcome to South Harm and I'm glad you here today. I'm glad you here today. Hit that Patreon link if you here to stay, huh? Treat this mic like an ATM. Let's make a trade today. <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome back into the Dynasty Trade Show. And as you can see, this is the first time catching me this week, which will be on Saturday, like always. Got some new digs, Adam. We're a little fancy over here. You can't see it on podcast, but come check out our YouTube channel just, just once. If you just only listen on podcast for just one, one time, just one time, you can see exactly how grotesque I am. Adam, how you doing, buddy? What do you think of the new digs, man? I, I, got, that, uh, I got that neon up. Mine's a little brighter. <laughs> Well, it's it looks an obnoxious setting. It looks <laughs> great. I, it looks fantastic. Um, when I say it looks fantastic, I'm talking about Mike's beard. Like Mike looks fantastic. <laughs> you know the the glow, the aura in the back of him. The, the University of Iowa tight end thing is still going strong. So on podcast, man, just know you got to come check out the YouTube because it, it, it's looking better. And uh, I have a feeling next week it's going to even look better than that, which is hard to believe. So I got a feeling you're right. I got a feeling yeah. you're right. But uh, without further ado. You know what we're here for? We're here to talk about your dynasty trades, but before we can do that, we have to talk have about to. ours. Those and why do we have to do that? Because they're the rules. Also because it's it's AMA that Koopa's killing, and I'm like, J Cap, stop playing and get this deal done because I need a deal for the trade show. <laughs> People are acting like I can't get deals done, and the truth is it's true because you guys are out here making it impossible for me to get deals done. But, Mike. What we got? We got mine. Um, also, if here. you want to have your deals featured on the show, patreon.com forward slash South Harmon. Before we get to that, let's do it, man. I always wanted to try to do that, like on radio voice, like you just did. Right. Great. You, you almost don't talk. Um, anyway, here it is, man. The OG shit league. So we're looking at a 12 team start 13 best ball with a 1.5 tight end premium, Mike. Um, my space bar is not doing anything today, but J Cap. Really wants Kyle Pitts. And I had just acquired Kyle Pitts, I believe, from Mr. Wonderful in this league. So this is uh, the OG shit league where I completely – well, first I quarterback hoarded. Then I completely dumpstered the entire team to zero. I uh, went to ground zero. 
trying to build it back up. And Kyle Pitts was the one which I felt like I could actually obtain from a non-contender that I felt like down the stretch would be a tight end that mattered. Um, coming off the AMA, best ball still is a little different, where I think I want to have multiple shots and possibly an elite one that I think Pitts could be in the future, but not right now. So it was hard for me to trade him. And also in this league, Mike, like we're starting 13, which is a lot, but I got a stacked ass receiver room. Uh, my receiver room is very deep, but at the same time, it's AJ Brown, man. Like it's AJ Brown and, um, freaking Brown. It's Catalina damn it, Weinster. man. Damn it. He got me. J cap. Uh, he, he found the, the pressure point, if you will, for me to sell off the one, the true Kyle Pitts. The Kyle Pitts. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> what's your take on this trade, man? Kyle Pitts, Rashad Bateman, Josh Downs going to JCAP. I'm receiving AJ Brown, Irv Smith, which I don't know if it's the jersey, the fact that I don't think I've ever seen a picture of Irv Smith before because I don't think he's ever done anything, or uh, and Trey McBride in this league. Which side you got? What are your thoughts? I want your side because you know me and I'm on this uh, fuck these tight ends kick, unless you're Mark Andrews, Travis Kelsey. The rest of them. I don't care about like the once loved Kyle Pitts. Like, I still like him as a talent. I still Do you think you can get back to the 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 place we had in our hearts? Probably not. <laughs> Ever. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I, it's just a question. Just a question. I don't think it's happening. I don't Ever think it or is. just like in the near future. Man, it's so hard to say. Like it's kind of. You remember when uh you know Tiger Woods was in his prime, and it was like, would How you take Tiger forget? Woods? Tiger Woods over the field. It was right? it was Woods. I, I mean, people take Woods, but you know, I'm just gonna play the odds and I'm gonna say the field. Got so it. no. Okay. <laughs> How about that? So, so your that? point, you're saying even still in a cost reducted market, you're still yeah. saying he's overvalued. Yeah, yeah. And if I could trade him, let's just say one for one for an equal asset, kind of around that range. Which AJ one for Brown one, AJ is. Brown. One for one, AJ Brown. Yeah, done. I do AJ Brown done as long as it's probably not like a half ppr we look at like a warp chart and all of a sudden like the wide receivers really don't really carry weight or matter and mm -hmm. they're really flat for whatever reason the scoring settings which this one is not one for one yeah aj brown kyle pitts i'll take aj brown every day of the week the other piece like i like bateman downs is okay um but really think about it just i mean they're they're kind of best ball wide receivers at him like they're they're, and that's shade. That's shade. Anytime you say like you're a best ball receiver. Like, well, I guess that's why that's why I need to ask this because I I think Mike the fact that you know we did two videos on two of the guys like there's a part of me that still is not ready to quit Bateman. I I I, right. I, won't, I won't lie. He actually was part of the thing that was holding the deal up. Um, for those that don't know, J Cap. Uh, I think he used the trade show against me. Like he knew, he knew he that I wanted it. this on the trade show, and he 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 leveraged it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still I'm still not really happy about. I'm happy about the deal, but I'm not happy about the fact that that's why Bateman got put in. Because there was a there was an equal value market wide receiver in the counter I sent. It was just my Bateman love. He he forced it out of me. You know, like I. Mm -hmm. But my question to you is like in, in best ball, do you have do you think there's still like a hope for Bateman to get to a range where he's very undervalued to market? That, that that's my worry unlike your Kyle Pitts question I will say yes to this one okay because I, I agree that is, with that yes that is something I think that guy is is talented it's kind of been unlucky but when we seen him on the field this is uh this is where we had a uh, Debro on and mm -hmm. they talking about it right kind he of opened my eyes up. right opened my eyes a little bit and I, I started to love shoddy B again so yes I understand why that hurt but you know just from a roster construction standpoint you got a warp difference maker at the wide receiver. You got rid of a position that's overvalued in tight end, right? You did that one for one. Like the AJ Brown side is such a win for me that even if you lose out on a, a shoddy B who I kind of like, you just backfilled it with a couple dudes at, at tight end, like just a couple guys that, you know, could make a lineup or if Smith plays in a great offense, he's going to have weeks in best ball. You don't have to push a button and start this dude. And Trey McBride, right, carries uh, some dynasty value. Now, we don't know if Trey McBride's just all hype and, and actually isn't good at football, right? We don't know that yet, and it sure. remains to be seen. But sure. that's something that has some insulated value. So if you were to 4D this thing and trade Trey McBride away for another 
shitty tight end and get some draft capital a couple, back. Like, or, or, or a tight end plus, right. Right. Like you might get enough draft capital. I'm not going to say like enough to go like buy a shoddy B type. So, so let, let, let's just, just think out of, let's, plus. let's think out a 4D deal real fast. You're talking what? Like, uh, Everett plus? Uh, Are you talking like uh Jelani Woods plus? Like what what's yeah, like, the like get crusty, get a like a Cole Turner plus. Well, I mean like, yeah, you... Cole Turner's almost free, right? Like he's like a fourth right. round pick, right? So yeah. Okay. But a guy who's gonna probably start some games and right. have some weeks. Right? What about and Troutman? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Maybe. I don't fuck, I don't care. Whatever. He's no, I'm just weight. I'm I'm asking, like, uh how crusty yeah. are you willing to go? Like if you got a Troutman, let's say, and you get back what are you going to need? A third and a couple thirds? Like what? Like I'm bet, asking what bet, the deals look. I bet if you're going that crusty at tight end, you can get a second at him. Oh, wow. Well, the, the the interesting part about that would be, and the reason because I didn't say a second McBride is because McBride was a second, right? So if you told mm-hmm. me that I just get to replace McBride with a guy that we once were fond of, but I'm still skeptical in Denver, but let, let, let's say he's even just worthy of rostering. He's, he has enough snap percentages, whatever. You get that insulated tight end spot filled with a guy that has a chance, and then you almost can replace Trey McBride's value, maybe not one for one, but close, ninety percent on you know 90, 90 cents on the dollar. So I, th- I think that's where the the edge would be won if you were able to do something like that. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. I think you can. And, and like I said, I think you probably get a second at him, but you know, even if you walked away with a couple thirds, like. I'm still in. Are you doing I'm that? Sit. Troutman and two thirds? Yeah, why not? Okay. Why not? And, and I think that's actually where this deal was not initially where it got to was I, I part of the problem wasn't when I'm in a total rebuild, Mike, I don't really appropriate tight end values at all. I don't really care. I want them all gone. So I'm rebuilding this tight end room that had nothing. And I move Mayer in a first and a second for Pitts and honestly kind of re- re- regretted that deal. Um, as much as I love the, the the talent of Pitts. So it was like, if I'm going to make this move, is there a way that I can kind of just build up some depth at the tight end position? So I got yeah, two of them in this trade, yeah. Was that before or after, like, war completely that was shit before. on that was, uh, <laughs> well, if it was if it wasn't if it wasn't before it was out, it was so new that I hadn't had a chance to really Grasp dive it, into, it. into it definitely it was definitely before mind warped it was definitely before like deep diving into right how right. i want to play the warp uh tool so but, but, but don't, don't it feel was an like errant it was an errant trade i, I think when i, I look I've back made on that so one. many bad tight end moves now considering what my stance on tight ends and i'm going oh shit i wish i could have that back but but but, but, but you correct it though is, you can always correct it right the good news is you can correct it because people haven't caught up to it yet like this. So is there any way you would make the other side? I guess is the question I'm asking. Because I, I, I think there's a case for the other side. I really do. And, and it's and it's based on the fact that you can replace, not A.J. Brown, but you can replace receiver. I think is the case for the other side. Man, it's so hard to replace receiver to the level of A.J. Brown, though. Well, of course, but we also know what about A.J. Brown. There's injury risk. There's injury, injury risk. Injury, yeah. Like if you – let's just for, – for hypothetical purposes, let's say Bateman, Downs, and you're going to play the wire appropriately. So let's say, you know, obviously you would never make a deal for A.J. Brown down to Bateman and Downs without getting a guy like Pitts back. But let's say you add a, add a couple of receivers in spot weeks or in the playoffs that, that matter, Trent and Irwin, you know, something like that. Right, right. I mean – like Trent Irwin outscored AJ Brown. Like the, I think there's a as great as AJ Brown is, and the, I made the deal because of this. That's part of my hesitation is y- you can still replace receiver in best ball, even in deep ones like this, where it's I don't know what we're rostering. It's got to be thirty, thirty five, almost forty, something like that. Like y- you can still find them on the wire all the time. I'd rather have the receiver than the tight end typically, but that that's where I was. I'm asking the question because I think you could make the case that you could still replace receiver too. The the thing is, man, I know AJ Brown's got like the injury thing, but when he's on, he's on. And if we just look at like sure. more per game for him for this league specifically, there's there's so few players that offer that that point one warp per game or better mm-hmm. difference maker. Mm-hmm. And and even if Kyle Pitts like hits, man, even if he hits, right? TJ Hawkinson was the number two tight end last year in this league like warp wise 
he's just barely at point one more, like barely. I'm talking like AJ Brown is like a point one three, like point one four territory, which is massive when you're talking per game, right? That point zero four that matters a lot. Hard hard to say, but oh man, just where I'm at with the tight ends anymore. So, so, so you want you want my side, um, pretty It'd much regardless some- right now. It'd have to be something stupid where it's like start two tight end and one point seven five premium. Like I didn't expect you to be so heavily sided on one side. I I I had a feeling you'd prefer mine, but I didn't expect you to be so heavily sided on mine. I, I'm good with it. I mean, it's a lot of names to be honest. That's what it is, right? Is that, you're talking? That, are you talking Bateman and Downs specifically? Okay. It's it's a lot of names that we liked at one point, right? So it, it mm. hurts because you look at it and you go, "Man, I I love I got a damn sticker of Kyle Pitts, like sure shoddy do. bees on our our fucking YouTube banner." I didn't even get the <laughs> tax right off that that Kyle Pitts sticker. You, you know? We gotta we gotta we gotta update that YouTube banner too. But Josh Downs, you know, that's a guy we like loved it. in the in the no <laughs> no <laughs> the pre draft process. So it's a lot of names up top. That's what makes it look so bad. But the right process play, and I'm convicted on this, is the AJ Brown and the dart throw tight ends. Okay. Well, I, I but I agree as long as you're able to roster enough of the correct tight ends mm. in the roster construction. Like if if you know you need to have five or six in a certain range, I I don't I completely agree with the process, by the way. Uh, I want to make sure that's clear. I was just asking in certain points, is there a scenario where the other one wins? Obviously, you know what side I made the trade for, but I, I don't know that it's as bad as uh, like you might think it is as Mike and I are talking through it, but I agree on process. As long as you're able to willing, you got to be willing to get down in the, the muck, but not too far down and get five, six of them, seven of them, depending on what roster construction says, right. whether you're starting one or two tight ends. And for me, I'm, I'm, I know I can take care of that process. No like problem, our, so. our warp roster construction says roster eight of them. So you're well on your way. You'll be I'm, fine. I know where I need to go. I know where I need to get, and I'll get there. Because um, it's not one in market where like people are going to crush you typically for no. the Jawan Johnsons, unless it's Mike. So, <laughs> all right, twelve team super flex PPR, full point tight end premium, best ball start eleven, shit boredom. Uh, one of the shit leagues I'm not in. B Hall seven is getting Rashad White, Rashid Shahid. By the way, getting a lot of buzz right now. Um, Garrett Wilson, a twenty four fourth. Going to Chill Will, 82, new Savage team member, Roshan Johnson, the Slim Reaper, Devontae Smith, and 224 seconds from Moose Knuckles and B Hall 7. So, Mike, mm, 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 mm. what do you think here, buddy? This is an interesting oh, deal. I want the, the Chill Will side. Do you? Okay. Times out of All right. Can, can you, I saw well, this come across. Can, 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 can you explain pissed. why? Because I think, I personally think, not that I disagree with you, but I think the most people watching are going to think the top side, but I'm, I'm interested yeah. to hear why you say this. That's fair. Rashad White's fine. Okay. Like he's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'll but tell you how fine like- he's not. I drafted him tonight in Eric's America's game and I hated that pick. I, the one pick I made all night that I hated the pick. It's disgusting. Rashad White in like one of those seconds. Like I'm good with that. Like uh, a Rashad White for Roshan in one of those seconds. Like I'm good with that. Like, I'm fine. She I want Wilson. Roshan in a second over Rashad White. Easy. <laughs> okay, I was being Easy. <laughs> but the Garrett Wilson for Smitty thing, like, Adam, it's crazy to think. I mean, Garrett Wilson definitely has the more hype, and people are losing their fucking minds on it, but Smitty mm-hmm. was very, very good last year. He's extremely talented in his own right. The offense mm-hmm. is fantastic. We know that. And we know that they can support two, you know, top ten, top eight, Maybe this year, top seven, top six wide receivers in Smitty and A.J. Brown. Top like, six. Oof. You know, there's a possibility. That's a, that's a Philly fan, I think. But no, I get you. You're right. I, I'm not putting a ceiling on Jalen Hurts because he's far exceeded anybody's expectations. I know there's people out there who are pounding the table, but nah, let's let's can't. be honest, man. You can't, man. Yeah. The Super Bowl performance yeah. he had, I mean, how could you how, how could you not? So, so I'm, I'm going to say this, man. Garrett Wilson for Devontae Smith, they're in the same tier for me, and there's – like, you give me anything, anything. What, but what does it look like? What anything, anything. is very vague. We anything. Want a third? More than enough. Done deal. Really? Same tier. I don't put them in the same tier just because well, I just okay, like to okay. say same tier. 
I, I hear you, but let me ask you this because you rank them differently. You'll, they're in the same tier, correct? Yeah. Cause and, and why? It's because of market, market, correct? Market, yes. Well, and that's where I, I think that – I'm not going to say that you're wrong. I, I know what you're saying, especially in best ball and the, the process that you and I play is not really as much for market. It's more for roster construction. That's how we think we're going to win in best ball and typically how we do. But is that light, though, like given what – Wilson might sell for elsewhere in a trade as, as my question. And I think what people will, will push back on. Could you finesse more out of it? Yeah. That, that That's the point I think ultimately. Okay. But so anyway, l- l- let's talk about the Wilson. So now you said it's white uh, Roshan and a second are out of there, right? Yep. I'll take one of those out. So now Wilson Shahid a fourth for Devon and a second. That's why I want that side. I'm good at a third. Holy shit, you gave me a second. Go ahead. Take but Shahid. What is Shahid worth then? What is Shahid worth then in this league? Because because in best ball, I, I know Fourth. say what you want though, in shit leagues, I do want Shahid. I just don't know how much I value him on the trade market. It's not a lot, but I want him on my teams. A fourth? Really? Are you paying a third for him? No, but I but I would ha- dude, I would send I would send every fourth that Sleeper ever gave me. For Shahid, for sure. For what though? Like, what are we talking about? Like, I would send three fourths for Shahid in a heartbeat. I mean, actual production wise. Like, what his what is his production? Yeah. Uh, I don't actually know what it would be. I I do think with Derek Carr there, you could be looking at more spike potential. Still, I still don't think his consistency is going to be very high, but. If I, got a ro- if I got a roster 30 players, 35, 40 players, I think Shahid could have three to four consistent weeks with a spike in there. Just follow me for a second, though. Yeah. Right. Last year with Shahid. <laughs> this is going to turn into a fucking <laughs> Shahid, Shahid show. Last year with Shahid, right? Mm-hmm. understand the quarterback situation wasn't rosy, right? But what Awful. did we see? Yeah. We saw Alave produce with a shitty quarterback situation do fine. Outside of Alave, like who was the next guy at the wide receiver? We know uh, Juwan Johnson kind of took a step forward at tight end. But who was the next, the next guy? guy? Juwan Johnson. After that next pass catching weapon, Kamara. It, it didn't matter really. Yeah, Kamara. But I mean, I'm talking that, like for the receiver position, it didn't matter last year. Right. Like he didn't have a lot of competition at all, did he? I mean, th- th- there was no one that mattered because Michael Thomas got hurt and then it was over. Right, he didn't have any real competition. Right. And he gave you two above average weeks last year. Correct. Two with, consistent with, weeks, right? Yep. With no competition. Agreed. Like like almost none. What do you do this year? You upgrade the quarterback, but then like this is a guy that I think in Michael Thomas coming back, like if he stays healthy for six, seven, eight games, nine games plus Could be. whatever. I, but what if it was not last saying year he again? can't. What if it is? Right? Yeah, we're in basically the same situation, though. But I, but <laughs> like, I do I'm think but I do think that... Derek Carr can support a, a receiver like him with his uh, I guess you know, long speed, giving you instead of two, maybe three or four consistent weeks, and maybe one spike because there's a long over the top touchdown. That that's the only difference. It's literally the quarterback play, and and we do have stats that show Derek Carr's a gunslinger. He's willing to throw it downfield. It, what, you can give me any stat you want on Andy Dalton or any other quarterback that's playing for the Saints last year. He was a, he was a shell of himself, which is hard to believe because he was never that great in my opinion. Okay. And I just think the quarterback play kind of sucked last year. So riddle riddle me this. I'll just follow along. Yeah. Who was who was the number two in Vegas last year? Uh, in like in uh, consistency in spike weeks. Yeah, like or just the, number who two the, option. Who was who was the number two wide receiver? In your opinion. Shit, I guess Renfro, it didn't matter really, though. Renfro didn't, I mean, he was hurt so damn much, he didn't even make this list. It I was mean, Matt Collins. There you go, okay. And you know how many above average weeks he had? Uh, is, it, two. is, is it two? I was going to guess three, okay. <laughs> two. two. This is just kind of what I'm getting at. Like, even if it's Derek Carr, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I just don't think, I mean, he's fine. I think Re- I think Rashid team. Shahid could be better than Hollins. Now, now I agree though, and why I'm not going to send a third, but fours for me, I don't. You know what I mean? Like it just, I'll I'll toss fours to anything that's because most people don't even give a fuck about fours. That's part of the problem. Right. 
and what I'm saying. Well, there. you, you could have got a Nick Westbrook Akine last year for Force. He did the same thing as Shahid did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ben Skoranek, he was on waivers. Mm-hmm. Well, but that, that's Goodwin. my point. For, the problem with Force for me is I can probably get what I would send for typically mm-hmm. on the waiver wire, right? I, just the the bigger point for me in this trade, like it's a nothing burger. Okay, so, so Shahid actually means nothing for you in this trade. It's at a all. fourth. It's a fourth. Man, I have That's a hard pro- I have a hard time valuing it at that. But I get what you're saying. That that being said, so so for you, you would take uh, Devontae Smith in the second over Wilson, and then you're calling it two fourths. Yeah, two fourths. Got it. Now let me ask you: if that's a third, does it change your mind? Because let's no. let, let, let's pretend that he because I think he probably goes in market for a third. Let's just pretend though. Nope, still okay. doesn't change. It. You I change agree. it to a second, it matters. No, no, I well then shit. we then we now, wash those. And now we're now trouble. we're now we're canceling some shit out here, boys. <laughs> no, I'm I'm with you though. That's why I want the bottom side too. But I think this is actually part of the reason I, I like this trade is part of it is Shahid has buzz right now, and I think this is where in mm. best ball that can totally sway a deal. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, because Shahid has buzz up top, that doesn't necessarily fit a third or a fourth, you, you, whichever way you want to view it. Right? Like some people think, Oh, well he's at least worth a couple thirds. Like, look, he might be the number two in, in the saints and Derek Carr is there. And that, that changes when you're getting the best player in the deal and Garrett Wilson in value. So I think, I think that's a kind of why I wanted to walk through that to a, a higher length than other trades, possibly. Get so. you. Yep. Uh, chill, Will. Well done, buddy. Be all sorry, man. I know uh been a staple, staple guy in the league, but uh, can't do it, man. All right. Can't do it. Shit, savage, Mike. Twelve team uh, super flex PPR. It's a two point tight end premium. Point two five points per carry. Best ball start fourteen. Shit, shit, savage. Doctor B Harris and Shane Joe, man, we got a, we got patron deals like, patron these are, on big, patron these are crime. big Savage patron on patron crime here. Dalton Kincaid to start off with just makes me think someone's getting in trouble. DJ <laughs> Moore, Javante Williams, Desmond Ritter, and a twenty-five four, a twenty-five fourth. Roshan Johnson, Sammy Laporta, Aiden O'Connell. Where's Eric? Twenty-four first, twenty-five first, twenty-five second. Wow. Oh, mm. wow. Mm. What do you think here? Um, all right, let me start easy part. Like DJ Moore for a first and a second? 24 right. and 25. He, he, he's gone. He's gone for me probably. In best ball, we're starting 14. I, I'll take a first and a second for DJ Moore. Kincaid for Laporta and Aiden Con- O'Connell. Dude, if you gave me... I, I think I'll take yeah. Laporta and Aiden O'Connell. Any, Aiden, it, Aiden's it, enough for me. The energy you had last trade, any you give me anything, <laughs> anything. I mean, yeah, I get you. Yep. Um. So then Ritter, Javante, oh, in a fourth. Javante for Roshan in the first. Like I want Roshan in the first, but then we don't really have anything for Ritter. Does it make up for the rest of it? Here, here, here. Best ball. Can, can I? Let me, let me, let me break it down this way. Kincaid for Laporta and Aiden O'Connell, right? Let's start there. Yeah. Right? I think that's fair, correct? Yeah. I like that. All right. So then what's the difference in value from Javante to Roshan? I guess is my question. Second, maybe. It feels heavy, but... I'm not going to take the like, first. Like, it's, I, not a, it's not a first. Because, right, like I'm not going to pay a first for Javante. <laughs> You know, like you can't I think say it's a it's second. Different. Let me ask you this: Would you rather have Roshan in a third in a league like this, or Javante? Uh, with the point start per fourteen ca- point per carry competing. You want Javante? Nah, I can't even do it, man. I think because there it's you start go. 14, that, that's my Roshan point. In the third. That is my point, dude. Start fourteen. I would rather have Roshan in a third, which then goes okay. So let's say Roshan in a second is winning over Javante at this point yeah. now, right? I'm with you. So now you have DJ Moore and Ritter for two firsts. Oh, I want shit. that side. I want that <laughs> side. And you can have my fourth. There you go. <laughs> the two, you, the, yeah, I'll get you. All right, that's there a bunch There you go. That's the breakdown down. that yeah. I was doing. And, and the way I did that for, for everyone that, like, 
sometimes when you when you want to really simplify it, make sure you go position and position when you can, right? So you kind of cross reference Kincaid and Laporta. You cross reference right. Javante yeah. and then Roshan. Now all of a sudden, holy shit! What? Why am I sending a first for Ritter? I'm out. I'm out. I don't care if it's 25, 26. Mike, would you ever send a first for Ritter in a in a shit league like this? Nope, never. Start 14, even more so. Why? <laughs> because that first is going to be way more valuable than <laughs> a spot start super flex quarterback. That in start 14, you don't get the biggest uh, positional advantage from your super flex, right? Because you have all these other spots to fill that people can make up, right? Start nine, much different story. Dr. B. Harris, man, I, ho- I hope no. this happened during the expo when you were uh, dancing around and all that. Because um, <laughs> it must have, it must have. I, I, ass- I just assume that's what it was. Uh, all right, oh, 12, shit. twelve team superflex PPR lineup start ten. Blitz, we're gonna have a talk, buddy. What, what, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Is this, is this a uh, a blitz? This is a blitz deal. Like Mike got blitz just now. Um, hmm. Mike, what are you seeing here? Listen, as shitty as it says, like you'll probably take the Purdy and Darnold side right now where it is. You you absolutely have to, right? But let's also remember though, this is a start ten lineup. Purdy's dog shit. We had this argument last trade show. <laughs> I still haven't changed my stance on it. I don't give a shit about him in a start ten I, or a start. I nine. know. <laughs> I, I haven't changed and it's not that I'm betting on Purdy. It's that we I have to you. at least admit that San Francisco's quarterback has a better situation in certain nah, spots. Kyle, Kyle Shanahan's stupid. So I, I, I don't disagree, but <laughs> we but, said the same thing about Ayuk. Ayuk eventually panned out, but what what happened in the meantime? Right, like he he bled value for two years. Right? Can can I say this without people losing their shit on me? Probably not, but you might as well say it. <laughs> out of all the pieces in this deal, the only one that has reasonable upside in a start ten is Trey Lance. Well, but but here, here here's I think the problem with because I know Red Red Pill stepdad's a newer patron of ours. Uh, I, I think here's the problem. It's not that I give a shit about Darnold at all. Like, I, I guess if Darnold was the starting quarterback for a full season in Frisco, like I at, at cost or cheap cost, I'd probably want him. I mean, is that fair to say, Mike? Like for not 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 in the deal, just in general. Like, yeah. If you told me you can get him really cheap for like a third or some shit, yeah, I'll, I'll yep. take him in lineup start 10. But I think the problem here is t- Tony right now, like I don't – I've been – a year ago, I was young Joka, the the biggest, you know, Tony. <laughs> Stop it, all right? I'm talking to my former self. Stop it. It's just the odds of this hitting in lineup start 10 is what? Like it's so minimal. Uh, Health. Enough. Mahomes can get by with anybody. He doesn't need Tony. Like, could it happen? Sure. I just, Mike, here's the thing. Trey Lance is going to go to a new situation at this point. It's not going to be Frisco unless there's two immediate injuries that give him the starting job back, right? Mm-hmm. Now, or Shanahan gets fired. Yeah, which would, well, that's going to take Before probably, the season that's going to, well, they, he's going to take him a year at least. Like, what would he have right. to do to get fired? I mean, my God. So, right. Like Lance is a long, long game that now the longer it goes, the market is just crushed. So you're just yeah. you're, you're literally betting on resurgence in production, which we right. have no production for him since what North Dakota State? How long ago? So, right, right. I mean, like, so the point is, Purdy. As much as I hate him, as much as I don't, I shouldn't even say that. I I just don't believe he's that good. I I don't think the sample size is big enough to really warrant where people are on him but like he is going to be the person probably all season that trades for the most because because yeah. i'm not going to trade with you and you're not going to trade with me for purdy we already know that right like in most leagues though he's going to trade for the most and that's where I, I i've never i don't think i've ever traded for the handcuff quarterback ever in a single trade in mine but uh I think that's where I want that side because of what market says and simply that. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. Shitty as it Damn, sounds. Damn, Blitz, man. Bl- Blitz is trying to kill the show before it even started, yes. man. Wow. He's trying to make me just like go ballistic, get myself canceled. I mean, you, you did it. I'll tell you what, that's a composed McNutted. Um, at least, 
Can someone at least in the chat give him some props, man? That's uh, it took a lot for him to stomach that. Well, I mean, full disclosure, we're recording this, you know, later at night, and I, uh, I just worked in a plant that's like 150 degrees all day. So, have you even been drinking today? No, I, I'm not running that risk. I, I, I just noticed this. Um, also, because I started. No wonder he's diet. not. No wonder he's so, so melancholy. You know, I, I started a diet too, where I cut out all sugar completely, including and the alcohol. Thing, no. Uh, I still drink vodka, but the only vodka I've left in my cabinet is UV blue, which is loaded with sugar. So. <laughs> no, thank you. I, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. You know what? I just, cause you know why I just found out here. I am thinking like, you know, it's Mike, it's my guy, you know, like we're good. I just found out I've been drinking alone for like two hours. I'm sorry, buddy. And, and guess what? You guys all get to see, uh, the Adam clown face that's coming, but, uh, <laughs> Christian, do not put the clown face on me. You will be canceled from our show. Um, I'll give you extra money, Christian, if you put the clown face on <laughs> For those that don't know, if I'm not queuing Christian up to do that, by saying that, uh, that's exactly what's going to happen. So, <laughs> Let's I, go. I know exactly why. Anyway, Garrett Wilson for Christian Kirk, Travis Etienne, Darnell Washington, 12-team, Superflex, PPR, Full point tight end premium start 11, shit, boredom, best ball, Mike, best ball here. You Give me the uh, you want give the me the Christian Kirk, ETN, yeah. Darnell Washington side. I'll take the the one for three all day. Man. Best I, ball principles, man, back to the back to the well. Th- th- this one here, so Mike and I on, the, on our first 4D on the shit side, right, we had some, I think, good discussion, I'll call it that, on best ball principles and where – sometimes just taking a crusty tear down may not be the right play if you can't mm-hmm. like do it over and over this is going to be a one time two for one deal that like that's where it stops this is one that even if you told me that this is the only deal you make i'm just going to take the process it's too many right. positions it's too many players and i think the odds are that christian kirk still like i'm i'm going to bet heavily that garrett wilson outscores him but if you told me christian kirk scored close or like barely ahead, I'm not gonna be like, holy shit, man. Like there's just no way. It's impossible. Right. It's right. not the case. I'm not a Travis Etienne guy. I, I know Darnell Washington's not the tight end one in Pittsburgh. I still don't care. Correct. I Correct. still don't care, right? That that's a guy in best ball, right? Just catches a couple touchdowns one week and all of a sudden he's a, you know, top six option. Easily. And that's all you're looking for in best ball. Travis Etienne, why you and I both don't really like him, and I think he's a little bit overrated, and especially in market value. Yep. Travis Etienne could easily finish as a RB1. Well, I mean, he ain't a high ceiling. But even if he's not, like, RB16. I mean, top, a then, top 12 running back anymore. Who, like, yeah. Right. I, I don't disagree. But I also, like, don't feel like, <clears throat> holy shit, top 12 right. running back. I'm with you, though. I, I agree. And Christian Kirk... I think both you and I would probably project him anywhere from that like wide receiver 32 to maybe like wide receiver 18. Like he's kind of. I was going to say top top 20 ish. Like I I don't want to get much past that with Ridley being there, but. Right. But it's reasonable. I I think there's reason for him to be 18 20. And I don't think anybody. I I don't think he's going past 32 or 36, really. At least for you and I, nobody here is projecting Garrett Wilson to be the wide receiver one. Or the nah. wide receiver too. I, I think top five is in the range of outcomes, but I don't think that even if he hits that, that it's a like he beat everyone in fantasy. To your point, right? That like it's a it, warp like, advantage to yeah. Like basically the the guys that would be up there in the the one or two. That, like it'd be if you saw the warp graph, there'd be a a sharp curve for me before you got to Garrett Wilson at five if he hit that. He's not going to go out here and be Cooper Cup from two years ago. Just breaking I don't, fantasy. I don't see it personally. Okay. And I love yeah, him. I'm with you. But I'm with you. Me. That's in a range of outcomes that I don't think is very likely. I, I guess the, if I was going to take the slim side, side, here, here's what I'll say. One, I have to be flush with assets to even consider this. Now, there are some teams, Mike, where I'm flush with assets, and I might. But, dude, I better be over the roster limit. I better be probably a year or two out of a rebuild where it's just like you are so stacked that you can afford to take this risk and you think that market makes sense. Right. Because outside of that, it just just is too much to pay for one person, in my opinion. And context behind the 
the league. This, this is, is a, brand new, right? That's a new startup, right? So you know everybody's kind of, kind of tight. You know, coming. Let out me of the ask startup. you this: Would you? Would you? This is a weird way to do it, but would you consider a move like this to rebuild? Maybe. maybe. I know. You know. You know. I know that, but the maybe, maybe is the, you're onto something here. See maybe. what I'm saying? Like, I don't think I can win. And I don't think I can get much for ETN, and I know I can't get shit for Washington. Like, can I ride the wave of Wilson up the ladder as I don't have enough points to score? The, and another thing, I mean, we can talk about it here too, but if you pull up the warp graph just the way the scoring is because I'm a, Christian. You know, ludicrous. Yeah, if I'm a, I'm ludicrous at this, that running back line is, is way above the wide receivers, and it stays there for By a, a while. Lot. So, yeah. A lot. So, that's also, too, when you're investing in a position that Warp tells you, piss off. <laughs> like, I guess good. that's where, too, though, you have to know the market and the, the people you're playing with. Right. And this is a group of people that is going to know a lot about this Warp graph, buddy. I, right? I would hope so. I hope people in our patron <laughs> leagues. <leave. laughs> Come on. <laughs> Pay Give me for something. The this is and use it. Gee, Jiminy Christmas, man! If if they don't know what the warp tool is, I just I don't know if I have faith in humanity anymore. And that I don't know what else to do, man. You can you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Apparently, I, you know what? I, I need a new trade. That's it. That's <laughs> all I got. That's all I got, buddy. Um, wow. Okay. 12-team Superflex PPR, 0.25 points per carry, lineup start 12, tiered PPR, running back 1.0, receiver 1.5, tight end 2, Palpatine Invitational, Matt Gomes 40, Jonathan Taylor in a second in 24, coming from Mr. Hall 85, Mr. Hall 85 is getting Tank Bigsby, 24 first from Matty Gomes, and a 24 first from Ultra FF, whoo! Mm. Mike, mm. Mm. Mike, Bro. I know, I know, I know where Mike is. See, see what what I like about these tight trades is I know Blitz had to pull him because th- I know where Mike is on his like stances. Right. This is, bro. This dude is this not Wyland? Yeah, yeah. This is Wyland. Go no, ahead, I'm buddy. I, 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 no. Don't don't try. Just just do what you know is right in your heart. Don't 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 you do this, man. You aren't drinking. Well, just do what's right. The fucking tank pigs beside in the two draft picks in twenty twenty four all day of the week. No this question. Is, about dude, it. this is this is uh twenty twenty one or twenty twenty prices, man. Right, right. This is bro. This is JT this is years ago. Unquestioned RB one prices. Bro, I can't pay two first for JT. Forget about Bigsby. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. what? Well, let me ask you this: Lineup start twelve with a point two five points per carry. What can you pay for Jonathan Taylor in this league? Like the the running back line doesn't even trend trend way ahead. Like that's the other thing that we got to at least talk about. Like I might give uh, you know Tank in a first and maybe like another fluff piece, but that'd be like my heart. KJ cap. Osborne type thing, like a, yeah. Like something that ain't gonna matter and does like start a off. like a like a value that's really not right. not real. Okay, bro. Shout out to our our, our partners, Dynasty Daddy. Dynasty Daddy, man, absolutely. Do you want to know the most disgusting part is? Mm mm. But like I want Matt you to Gomes, tell me. Matt Gomes ranks towards the top, right? Like third from the top. Looking at overall rank on Dynasty Daddy in this league. That pick from Ultra Ref, twelve, twelve of twelve. 12 of 12, buddy. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know. I don't know. And and this is like the difference between so the, wait, wait. Uh, our so simulator. Is that their, what you're like, telling uh, me? Is that is really that good of a pick? Apparently. Like, his starter rank is number one in the league. But he has apparently no depth and no draft capital whatsoever. This is ultra FF. Team. Yep. So you're, so you're saying if everything goes 100% right, no injuries, no nothing... He could be the champ, but and that's the why edges I love are the site. zero. So I can, I can give you all the context, right? Quarterbacks, uh-huh. Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson. Uh-huh. No third quarterback. No draft capital to go get one. All right. He's Running Mike backs, going streaming. Saquon, Derrick Henry, James Conner, 
been a bunch of turds. <laughs> Receivers, Diggs, Debo, Keenan Allen, Lockett, Brandon Cooks, and a bunch of turds in lineup leagues. And tight end, Travis Kelsey. And nobody else. And no draft capital, Adam. Like, none. Yeah, no. I got you. There's a, got, there's a fourth there's and no, 24. There's, there's no a, room for error. There is leverage zero room for error. Max. Consequences. But, yeah, but think about it, Adam. Like, you are one Lamar Jackson or Josh Allen injury away from just being poopy. Done. Done. Mm-hmm. It's over. Sorry. You're, but you're also, like, relative to your team – Let's say right. the worst injury was your wide receiver three. I mean, this is. You can make it work. I'm not saying you can't, but like you are literally. Yeah, you're on the, you're, 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 you're towing the edge. You're on a, on a line. The, the, the edge is here and you, your, your foot's half over it, right? right? Both feet are half over it. You're just standing on your heels. It's like if you were walking <laughs> one of those lines and you're like. Oh, yeah. 30,000 feet up in the air. Some crazy yeah, shit, right? Like tight roping. Yeah. yeah, if you if you get all the way across, greatest man of all time. But right. you, look you fall, it is over. A stumble. It's done. So interesting, right? Like Dynasty Daddy puts him at, at 12th on their overall rank. Uh, we pull it up on our league simulator, number one team. So wild variance of where this team could finish. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that actually makes sense, though, when you think about the differences, right? So... Like Dynasty Daddy is going to give you a uh, basically it's going to be like the old uh, shout out to Dynasty Nerds right the GM tool right yep yep it's basically just a uh, a stack of your Dynasty value so like relative to the, his bench it sounds like in his draft picks there's nothing there but you can only capture the starters weekly and that's where like the simulator is going to give you that but they don't. As great as a simulator is, it's also not going to be able to predict real variance to a degree, right? It, it will and it won't be able to give you like high end variance. So, this is the other thing, too, like when I look at it and why I kind of look at Dynasty Daddy versus our simulator, too. Um, Adam, it's a lineup league and it's start 12, right? So, mm-hmm. just if you can do math at home, follow along with me Uh-oh. Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, Travis Kelsey, Saquon, Derrick Henry. James Conner, Diggs, Debo, Keenan Allen, Tyler Lockett, and Brandon Cooks. Are you on your toes yet? That's 11, Adam. I got nothing for the last flex spot. Like, is it Justin Ross? Is it Abana Kanda? Justin Uh, Ross? Have you seen the hype on him? Rashad Penny. Rashad Penny. uh, Luke Luke Schoonmaker. Schoonmaker. Come on, man. Cole Turner. So it's a 2.0 tight end premium. Luke Schoonmaker? <laughs> I know. This is the other thing. Like, why well, is starter ranks number one? Yeah, 11 of them are pretty good. The 12th one, butt cheeks. <laughs> it's horrible. We we'll call it shit uh, for yeah, the brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the brand. I, I get it. This is too much. Uh, no, but no, like, even if I, I, I get it the from place, the right? evaluation standpoint of Ultra FF, but way too much. I like the deep dive but we, we went really hard on one yeah, player pick. It was way too easy. But this is just variance. Forget forget even what Dynasty Daddy and the simulator say. By the way, go check it out because it, it is important. But in this trade, you can forget it, man. There's I've been a part of teams where I've paid up for running backs like this. Right. And there's even great – I have two great quarterbacks, and you're like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> it doesn't have shit. Really go well, does it? Now, now my first is gone. Wait a minute, I, I'm holding this, uh, you know, Mister Howe first or whatever first, and you're like, wait, why? Th- this is a 110 now. What? Mine's like going to be a 103, 104. You, you could make this deal, and, and the biggest part of it that is problematic is what if Tank Bigsby on the warp chart, Mike, finishes? Let's say. Let's pull out all the other uh, lines, Christian. I know you won't, you can't do this, but that's okay. What, <laughs> what, what if, what if the Travis Etienne discussion we had? What if, in this league, Tank Bigsby finishes around that twenty range? Oh shit! Forget oh, shit. it. Forget it. Like if he's one point three five ish, one point three. There's no Jonathan Taylor that exists anymore. 
in this current day that makes up for this period right it's impossible it it's not on the elemental chart it's not fucking real (laughs) i love it i love it i love the references we're off we're off of this some people get them most people some people won't (laughs) that's okay I'll, I'll, i'll still let it uh rest on its laurels 12 team super flex 0.5 PPR best ball start 10 two tight ends best of the rest whoa lopsided uh looking Noah Fant Chris Olave JSN Juan Dale Tillman by the way Tillman is uh being at Brown's training camp he he looks a lot more like Njoku than he does any of the receivers it's a big dude man big strong guy man 63 2 and a quarter like 2 and a quarter like he's big Sam Laporta, uh, 25 first, 26 first, 25 second, 26 second, um, as well as a 26 third and two fourths. Mike, difference between Fant and Laporta, and then does all this draft pick liquidity plus Tillman and Robinson make up for JSN and Olave and they start 10? Okay. <laughs> no, Zach. Zach finally made it. He's been asking. Blitz has had him on block or leave him on red or whatever the fuck the kids say. I, now. I'm kind of wondering like what happened there. Yeah, right. Like a little animosity. I don't know. We finally get Zach back on the show. Uh, this is a smash for his side. So he, it, Adam, like I just started adding up like Jason for a first and a second. I want the JSN side. Alave for for first first and a second, right? And this isn't even taking into account their twenty-five and twenty-sixes, right? These are these are twenty-fours. A a (laughs) twenty-six first, man. For like, I wouldn't take a twenty-six first, twenty-six second, third, and plus for one of these receivers, man. Even if I was being rosy and I was like, these are first and seconds and twenty-four. Okay, I probably still want the the Alave and the JSN Mm -hmm. Uh, because of market. you factor in the rest of it. Like, I like Laporta, man, but just give me another fucking tight end in best ball in Noah Fant. Let me ask you and this. You can have all the Wandale and Cedric Tillman you want and all the force and whatever the fuck else is thrown in here. Good luck to you, sir. <laughs> you take all this junk, and I'm going to take two really good players and a dart at tight end. What if we took JSN out? So Ooh, JSN shit. out. Now, now, but also the 26 picks out. Mm. So so I now it's still one. You still want you still want the Alave side? Alave fan. It's a lot closer yeah. though, right? Yeah, it's a lot closer. Because if you if you were to say the twenty five first and second Alave, you might still want that side. But now you got those force in there. You got a couple of the dart throws back, and you're getting the better tight end and market. Fine. But when it's two of them, like <laughs> the, these are two top twelve to fifteen young almost value insulated to a probably to a Max. fault like they right. they probably have so much value insulation that it's not fair like they could they, they both could have uh underperforming yeah. seasons and still carry value in dynasty a, a you, lot you can't, of don't you, do shit yeah and, and you all can't. of a sudden next year you could still get a 25 first and a second out of them ex- thank you thank you that's Still. that's that's the point though about this that I think people have to realize is the value insulation of Alave and JSN are too stupid. Like you can't yes. do this for those guys. They're too ridiculous given what wide receivers mean in Dynasty right now. You just can't. Yep. Yep. We talked about the JSN thing too. Like think Drake London, but even more exciting for some right. people. Right. And Gino oh. Gino was good last year and there's two other receivers there. So what if the offense actually like takes a step forward? I mean, could you imagine? <sighs> What if what if they're gonna lose Lockett at the end of the year and JSN like looked good last year? Oh. Right. Yep. Sheesh. All right. Trade addicts, Mike. Um, you're in the right place. Philly Wiz Wit out. I I don't know if that's a white out, wit out. I, I'm not even sure. Brandon Cooks, Mark Andrews being acquired for Brandon Ayuk, Dalton Kincaid, twenty five first, twenty four third. Twelve team mm. superflex PPR. 1.75 tight end premium. It's a lineup league start 10. Trade addicts. Mike, we know about the uh, the tight end premium in the lineup leagues coming off of AMA, man, with Koopa. A warp. We do. Talk to the people, buddy. I only have two exceptions. Mark mm-hmm. Andrews is one of those exceptions, baby. 
I will send fucking Dalton Kincaid in a 25 first every day of the week to go try to get Mark Andrews, especially in a start 10 lineup that is 1.75 tight end premium. No. Without fucking hesitation. Okay, I will take but now, Andrews. now the question is what about the IU can cook swap? I am so ecstatic about sending Kincaid really? in the first where I go, shit. <laughs> like, I hate oh. giving up Brandon Ayuk. Seriously. I do. I hate giving up Brandon Ayuk, but mm. the game changer for me is that Mark, Mark Andrews in this format. Wow. I know. It sucks to say, but there's also a realistic uh, no, scenario, no. Adam. So don't, 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 it sucks to say. Just, no. I'm not, you I, know I, what? Just because you're not drinking, I'm not going to accept that. <laughs> Lean into it, damn it. I want to hear what you have to say. Downside of Brandon Ayuk. We're wrong about how awesome he looks in training camp and how great and how much we love the guy. And he's just a ho-hum wide receiver, 26 to 36 type wide receiver next year. Fucking Brandon Cooks, of all people, could be that. So it's a wash. But there's market, though. I understand. But Brandon Ayuk, you've also said on this show before that Brandon Ayuk is also one of those guys where if it doesn't happen this year, correct, nobody gives a fuck. And you got to go back to vacation. I like this. Mike's pulling vacation receipts. Man, vacation Love. receipts. Wow. Hey, they I'm say running, Elephant's running got a the, great memory. <laughs> I got it. I'm, I'm out here. I feel like I'm being sober attacked right now. Sheesh. Holy crap. Um. All right, so I'm running the Trade Addicts League. All right, I'll give it to you. This will be this will be. Well, no, no, no. The 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 warp is where I'll take the tight end here because. Okay. Pull it up, Mike. Go ahead. Pull up. I don't care if you're looking at true or a warp graph. I mean, Mark Andrews is two point six zero. Like Mark Andrews last year, didn't have Lamar for the full season. Was not as good as we've seen him before. The only quarterbacks that were ahead of him are Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes. Holy shit. Yeah. So, okay. Like, <laughs> it's even better for, than I thought. So, it, all of the Iowa Michael, you know, hate discussion that was about to happen, it can't happen. The, the, in this market, it's not a discussion. I mean, I wonder if this is not the, you know, how we always This talk is with A Warp, Mike. You know that? Warp. This is with A Warp. Well, I wonder if it's not like universal on the scoring says. You know how we talk with tight end premium? Like people put like 0. 0.5 tight end premium or you'll put 1.5. Mm-hmm. They mean the same thing. But if you were to put 1.5 and that's actually the bonus. So what you're the, saying is this would be like a 2.75. <laughs> two points, is this a 2.75 tight end premium league? And if that's the case, holy Santa Claus shit. <laughs> you well, do what whatever I'm- you can. What I'm wondering, though, like start 10, so typically in the start, like start 9, you'll see a lot of the two receivers. Right. But sometimes in start 10, you'll see a two receivers with a double flex and then a super flex. Mm-hmm. If that's the case, I could see where the warp chart looks a little more like this because mm-hmm. one thing it's not talking about is running back values. And you see how you see how the running back value chart really stays right. with everything? Like right. I, my guess is there's some kind of running back value bump that kind of blends all of them together, and now you have this tight end premium that just – like, dude, Rolls look at A-Warp. Look at A-Warp after we just went through that with the Koopa today. Mm-hmm. That, bro, that's hovering. Like, these lines all blend together from 18 up. <laughs> Mark Andrews is absolutely worth this by a country mile. This ain't even close, bro. This is – that's crazy. There you go, man. The warp tool, the warp chart, the A warp. Back your shit, Brandon Ayuk. Back your shit, Dalton Kincaid. You're back in the shenanigans doghouse, buddy, and it's coming from ATM and Iowa, Michael. I'm sorry. Maybe if you're lucky, you can join Trey Lance in Atlanta. And I'll tell you one. uh, I've been on the Kincaid hate for a long time, so it's it's time to stay true to the brand. Uh, Boom. Mark Andrews, you know? I'm not going to lie. I'm a little disappointed in like I was expecting to have a nice back and forth with you there. <laughs> that no. was that was awful. Like that that is that league is not even close to a discussion. It's Mark Cooper, Andrews by millions. <laughs> Cooper would have bodied you if you could look at that and go, "Yeah, I could still try to have a nope." Well, <laughs> nope, what I would like to have done is had this chart up when you guys were trying to tell me like 
I want no tight ends ever in a tight end <laughs> in, in, in a lineup league. I prefaced it by saying Kelsey or Andrews, and then I want no tight ends ever, ever, ever. I think I think I think T.J. Hawkinson looks pretty darn good in this league, buddy. If you think he's going to finish there again, yeah. Well, yeah, well, especially if you think he might yeah. finish like he did in Minnesota, given he played there for how many right. games? Right, right. I get you. You know I what? You, you know what Justin Fields did last year for <laughs> in, for a full season? Holy shit! Yeah. Man. Anyway, um, good stuff, man. Good Philly, stuff. Philly whiz. Wit out. Uh, I don't know what that that means, but appreciate Without. you being a part of. Uh, uh, come on, man! It's 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 Philly jargon, right? When you order a you order a, a cheesesteak, right? I've only done wit it once, so I don't. I, okay. Oh, wit out! There you wit go. Wit or wit out. Wit or wit out. Put me on game, yeah. Mike. Clean you, it up man. for me, Dan. Like, I've never even been there, but I just watch enough shit. You've never. You're a Philly fan. You never been to Philly. I, I got to get off the bucket list, man. You see, this here, is, this, are, are, see, are this y'all is hearing just, this? This is all just been a ploy, right? This whole fantasy football thing, this dynasty thing, just to get enough money where I can go sit in the uh, the box suites just one time, get a cheesesteak, you know, do the whole thing. No, I'm just kidding. No, the, uh, the Philly cheesesteaks are legit, though. I can't believe you we went to Philly it. once, man. We got to do it, man. I want to go to a, I want to come out and uh, visit you and go to a Browns game sometime, too, so. Maybe we'll uh we'll arrange it. We could probably put it down as a company trip. We just do some fucking content, you know. I mean, we <laughs> could definitely do, do that. Content, right? We just have to put it without. <laughs> without, <laughs> without, without. <laughs> so that's probably what it is. So, sorry, sorry, uh, so, sorry, Philly Wiz. Yeah. Makes a lot more sense. The uh, the cheese Wiz. I, I'm out here thinking like cheese Wiz, Wiz Khalifa. And then he didn't want onions. Right? No, no, he doesn't, I get he didn't it. Want without, the it without. makes a lot more sense now. And I'm okay. sorry for all the uh, the jargon thrown your way. Appreciate you. <laughs> putting that in the chat and also appreciate you showing koopa that tight ends do matter in lineup someone needed to do it a few of them it wasn't gonna matter it wasn't gonna be me you know it needed to be uh without so a few of them all right mike um anything you want to plug because i know you you got some things to plug ah oh, man just go check it out south ff.com check out the warp tool if you haven't already it's incredible we put the graphs on here it's even better when you can play around with your own leagues and come up with your own realizations and going, holy shit. And like tight ends do matter if your name Mark Andrews in this league. <laughs> like I want these guys. Or mm-hmm. man, running backs are so much higher. And now that A Warp is out, for you lineup people, because I know I talk so much damn best ball and you probably get tired of hearing it. Air Warp A Warp is geared specifically to you guys. So go check it out. Come also to the website, get yourself some cool ass merch. We got some shirts. Some dope ass shirts. Do you believe in miracles? I, I, I decided I needed to wear this. I didn't wear it during the whole trip. And neither uh, did I. I gotta wear mine yet. Is it nice? It's comfy. Well, it's real comfy. Um, I saw it hanging. My wife like decided to hang it, not even dry it. I'm like, what is this? Okay, <laughs> gotcha. I gotta wear it. Uh, it was on a hanger and shit. So. Hell yeah. Uh, I I was gonna put the Do You Believe in Miracles shirt on, the black one, but you know, mm. put the Fantasy Football Expo. Good, good shit. Good trade show. Uh, just check out the website. Check out everything we're doing. Podcast feeds popping off, so catch us on there sometime. Uh, you might be listening to it right now, and if you're listening on the podcast feed, come check out the YouTube because the YouTube's going bananas. So uh, you guys are incredible. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm so glad that we get to do this. And as you can see, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, I upgraded the uh, the setup. We're we're doing big things, man. It's going to be even better next week. Wink, wink. If you know, you know. <laughs> So, I do know. Adam definitely knows. We're moonball this thing, man. And we've met so many cool ass people. And this has been like a crazy week for me. I've been guessing on like everybody's pod and I started a new one on my own. Just fuck. Let's go. Yeah, man. Let's go. Good stuff. Um, also, if you do want your deals featured on the show, patreon.com forward slash South Harmon. You got about a week ish. Dollar a month. Me. Get you in the door, man telling you a dollar a month will always get you in the door <laughs> well for the trade show it's a, it's a there you go put it like this at, at the end of the month um there'll be a little bit of a differences in tiers and what they offer but Re-arrange. dollar a month will always get you in the shithead the shithead door we 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 always. said it from the beginning you will never be without the shithead without the shithead um not necessarily trade channel but the discord for a dollar you'll always be in but the features the benefits you'll get they're going to change be realigned right before the season starts so 
for now, dollar a month gets you in the door for t- putting trays on the shithead trays channel. You get you get so much for a dollar, it's crazy. It's like Mike, it's like going back in time. It's a time machine, right? Like remember it how is. great the dollar menu used to be? Like you get yes. like eight, ten, twelve things. Now it's junk. dollar menu it doesn't exist anymore. You get a value menu and you get like, you know, right buck eighty nine, maybe, for one thing. It's like a, why do they still call it the dollar store? There ain't shit in there that costs a dollar anymore. <laughs> dollar trees you know like uh, <laughs> it ain't the same thing anymore but uh we appreciate you guys thank you everybody for tapping in we'll see you back here same time same place next week for the dynasty trade show right thing peace, peace.